I want to spend a few minutes and talk about trunk injections. There's a lot of people that are making a lot of money doing injections in trees to help resolve some problems. And what I'm pointing out here is some long-term damage directly associated with these injections. I remember when this was done and some of them are really bad. There's, there's the injection site there and underneath this bark it's more like this. This tree was repeatedly done for a number of years and you can see that where the injections were put areas of decay have developed. Here's one further down. There's another one further down. Uh, I'm not sure if they put one up this high, but um, clearly they did a ring of injections in this tree. And the company that did it was treating the hackberry trees for hackberry aphid. And this just so happens to be a Zelkova. So they added this to the list. So they made money repeatedly injecting a tree that was of the wrong species and adding it to the list. So injections have their place and there are some situations where you can't do external applications of pesticide and in some cases that's like a last ditch effort but it's also a, a procedure that is often used prophylactically or as part of a way to increase revenue uh, for many companies. So here's some clear evidence of damage directly associated with injections. And I don't want to go into the company. I don't want to talk about who, you know, what was, in, in, was implanted, what was put into the tree. But it, it's just really important to recognize that sometimes procedures are not beneficial and can have long-term detrimental impact to the tree. Now there's another species of tree that was treated repeatedly, that's the Liriodendron tulipfera. We call these the tulip trees. And they get tulip scale. And for years, they've been putting injections, little capsules of systemic poison into the trunks. Now the impact from the injections on the tulip tree are not as severe, but you can clearly see that there are cracking and lesions. Some of them have closed over. And on this side, it doesn't look so bad. But there, there's some that have, have dried up and the continued growth is absorbing them. But I, I'm really not an advocate of the, uh, the injection treatment. And finally, here is a hackberry tree that has received many, many years of treatment. You can see one of the plugs is still in there. Every one of these areas is a, a small wound. Um, some of them react differently. Some of them actually are getting encapsulated by the new growth. But, you know, as you saw in that earlier image, you don't really know what's going on underneath. I don't want to go in there and start pulling the bark off, but I believe if I did, I would reveal, you know, decay pockets and areas of, of insect infestation. Um, some of them did just fine, but a lot of them don't. And when these trees are repeated, repeatedly treated every single year, you know, the, the trunks just get, they just get peppered with all these small points of damage. There's another one that's not showing, and there's, there's one that looks terrible. And there's one right next to it, and there's one over here. These trees, because, because the trees are susceptible to an aphid, which is a, a leaf damaging disease, or not disease, but uh, infestation, it's, uh, it's, it's a real mess. And people park their cars under the trees and the stickiness that um, results from it can make the trees highly undesirable. 
So I understand the problem, but sometimes the attempted solution to the problem often will cause its own problems. And here's another hackberry, and you can see the long-term results of all these repeated trunk injections all the way around. And some of them are better than others, and some of them are not so good at all. And you'll have the people that sell the product that will argue that it doesn't hurt the tree. Okay, well, I'm showing you damage, and I'm showing you how it does hurt the tree. And most importantly, how it's, it's cumulative. Each of these areas of decay actually spreads over and connects to other areas of under the bark decay and can end up with long-term implications to damaging the tree. So I'm sure I'm gonna have some big companies pissed off at me for say, saying this because they make a lot of money doing this. But buyer beware.